Hello, my name is Sunfly. Today I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be making this Bowie knife. The blade is six and a quarter inches, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be making that. The first step I've gotta do is cut out the basic shape, and then I will be fine-tuning the shape. Yeah. So now that I've got the blade ground down with the angle grinder, I'm gonna use the files to get in all there, make it nice and smooth. And then I am going to use the flap disc and sandpaper to get all the rest of the edges all like super smooth. So yeah. So now I'm just gonna punch, I've got the shape all down to how I want it. I'm going to add in the uh, sharpening notch, whatever that's, I, I'm pretty sure it's called the sharpening notch, um, in later, after I do the punch lines and everything. Um, so yeah, now I'm just gonna punch all the places with a hole. So now I've got the handle clamped up, I'm going to drill a 10 mil hole, a 4 mil, 6, 6, 4. And then the 10 will be for like a lanyard hole, the 4 will be a small pin, the two 6s will be bigger pins, and then the last 4 will be the same small pin. Yeah, so I'm just going to drill them now. So I've got my holes drilled. So the 10, 4, 6, 6, 4. And now what I'm going to do is sand both sides so that I can um, get it ready for beveling. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so the next step is beveling, and as you can see, I've put it in this clamp here, and I've clamped these two triangles to it so that I can't go past the bevel line, so I'll be grinding it, and then when it hits there, it'll stop, and then I'll know that I have to, I can't go past that point. So yeah, just 
going to be using the bench grinder to get the plunge lines in and then the basic really rough bevel. It won't go all the way back to this red line that I've drawn in. And then I will be using files to clean that up and then the angle grinder with a flap disc to clean that up and then sanding it. I've also off camera countersunk the holes and that's pretty simple. You don't really need to be a genius to know how I did that. So here we go. Okay, so sorry for the bad lighting, but I have got both the bevels done. They're pretty meh, because they're huge, and it's really hard to keep a bevel consistent, especially over, over an area this big. Um, but the next thing I've got to do is put the sharpening notch in, and that's just a little a half circle that goes above the little line, so that when you're sharpening the blade, it's... It hits the end of the blade and it can sharpen the entire blade instead of missing out the, the last little bit. So I'm just gonna do that and yeah, it's pretty easy. So now that I've done that, you see this little indent and it goes right above the punch line so that when the sharpening stone goes over the blade, you can get right to the end of the blade. Whereas if it was here, you could get right to the end of the blade, but it would be much harder as the plunge line's right there to just stop the stone. So this is, yeah, you don't have to add that, but it's really easy and I think it looks kind of nice, so may as well. Okay, so now that I've got the bevels done, I'm going to sand all around the edges of the knife and to do that, I've just raised the the plate or the table on the drill press really high up and put this sanding bit. It is for wood, but I'm thinking it'll just take off a little bit of material. Maybe we'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, it's no problem. This was like a really cheap bit. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. So yeah, that's the knife so far. I hope you've enjoyed this part one of this video. Part two should be coming out sometime within the next two months or so. Sorry about the long wait between videos. It does take a while for me to make these things and also heat treating is always a problem because I don't have anywhere in this workshop to heat treat it so I either have to go to my friend's house or I have to get a forge of my own which I will be, but it won't be for a little while. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making this one. The bevels and everything turned out much better than I thought they would. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.